camera, I can see what this is about. Where the fuck is everyone? He's back! What's up, y'all? This is Chef 357. Coming back to you, just like MJ, I retirement. <laughs> Today we're making smoked barbecue ribs. Joe's barbecue and foot massage. You better come down here, get some of this shit. It's gonna be finger looking good. Let's go. That's a W. Let's eat one. Let's eat one. That's a W. While we get those ribs set aside, we're gonna make Kool Aid barbecue sauce. That's right, y'all. Kool Aid barbecue sauce. Really, nigga? Now I'll see y'all asses in the kitchen. It's about damn time. Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to my kitchen, the outdoors. Oh, like, motherfucker, we're fucked now, ain't we? You are. We're gonna prep our pork ribs. We have our ribs ready to go. We're gonna use our mustard as a binder. And here is my favorite rub I like to use for my ribs. I don't give a fuck. The description of the greens will be down below. We use some gloves because this bitch be nasty. Nasty bitch. I usually like to take my rib and smack it. Smack it like it owes me some money. Nice. All right, let's check in the back. That skin, you want that membrane to rip it out. If you can find the skin, let's rip it out. Can't find the skin, then fuck it, don't, don't rip it out. All right, let's see. I usually get a good grip on this whole picture. I'm going to have to put on my fucking double seeing glasses because I can't even begin to see the amount of bullshit coming from- Alright, so it comes to the membrane. It's your choice. It's your barbecue. It's your motherfucking kitchen. Do what you want to do. You can pull the skin off, you can score with the knife, or just keep the bitch on. We're going to use the mustard to bind it to hold our rib. Our, our rib. What? Alright, here we go. Well, a little mustard here. Yeah. You know, rub that thing in like you're in prison or something. Come over here and kiss me on my hot mouth. I'm feeling romantical. All right. Got your favorite rub on there. But I still don't give a fuck. Get that, get that baby nice and coated. All right. All right rub it good. Now don't forget the other side. All right. Let's do it one more time. Hey, yo, what the fuck? All right, let's get a nice rub on this side. Get your rub. Rub it in. Get a good coating on that, baby. Give your meat a good old rub. That's it. Nice and hot. Hot and spicy meat. <laughs> yeah, boy. Make sure your ribs look nice and good, nice and coated. And we're going to put this in the fridge. Let it sit. And meanwhile, we got smoker. Prepped up. See you guys soon. An eternity later. Welcome back, guys. Uh, if you can see, Mother Nature decided to change her mind, but that's not gonna stop us. Zeus, is this how you face me, coward? We have our pellet smoker here, our electric pellet smoker, different than a traditional charcoal, so it can control the temperature a little bit better. We're gonna get our pellets ready. There, before two. 51! Rover shit! Hut! Hut! Rover shit! Hut! Hut! Touchdown San Francisco! We have our hickory blend we're gonna throw in the pellet uh, smoker. See you soon. Alright, I'm gonna open up this chamber here. Got a nice smoke there. Get my ribs set up here. Alright, alright. Alright, we're gonna get our ribs. Oh my God. Get the fucking fish. All right, ribs are in. We'll see you in one hour for a little spritz. All right, guys, it's been one hour. So we're going to check out these ribs. We're going to spritz them. Uh, we have a water bottle here. Inside, we have apple cider vinegar. Again, you could use any kind of spritz you like. Now we're going to spray these like R. Kelly, baby. Yes. All right, they're looking good. Getting nice and coated. Looking well. Down there, we have pork belly for a future video. So check that out later. Coming soon to own on video and DVD. All right, get these nice and coated, and we'll see you soon. Welcome back, guys. So it's been uh, two hours here. We're going to check the ribs. We're going to put them in the foil and wrap them up. All right, so we have it here. We're going to wrap them up. I like to put butter, honey, and our apple cider. Um, I like the honey for a little bit of sweetness. So it gets a little uh, 
saucy while I was processing that. I got a little butter. Ah, right, wrap around real, real tight. All right, so it's all wrapped up, and back in the smoker goes for two more hours. We got our ribs wrapped up, ready to go. Like two more hours for those guys. Meantime, let's work on our Kool-Aid barbecue sauce. Here are our ingredients. We have tomato paste, apple cider vinegar, some minced garlic, some wishy shit, what, what the shit? English, motherfucker, do you speak it? Sire sauce. We got molasses. We're going to put our rub in there. A little brown sugar. And our Kool-Aid. We made grape Kool-Aid. This is unbelievable. Oh, my gosh. I, I mean. Now we're going to begin processing our barbecue sauce. What's great about this sauce is there's no cook for it. Just whisk it together and we're ready to go. All right, first thing first, we're going to grab our paste. All right, start with the paste. And it goes. And a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Again, the recipe will down, be down below in the description. A little bit of uh, garlic. Come on, baby. Don't be shy. There we go. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? And then the what the shit sauce. Because it. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you, fuck you. A little bit of that inside there. And a little mint molasses for your ass. Something's in my ass. Mm. And that goes down inside. Here you go, right here. Again, you can make it spicy as much as you want. And then a little brown sugar. A little scoop here and a little scoop there. We'll get the exact measurements down below. And then our Kool Aid. Or a little bit of Kool Aid right there in the middle. And now we're going to whisk it all together. All right, you want everything incorporated really well. Make sure everything is dissolved. Once we get this all blended, we're gonna hold this together. Once the ribs are ready, this will be our glaze for it. All right, in two hours, we're gonna glaze our ribs with our Kool-Aid barbecue sauce. We glaze one rib ahead. When you take it out, you get this, this nice little syrupy thing from the butter and from the honey. We're gonna pour that back into our barbecue sauce to add extra flavor. All right, take the rib out. You can see the bones are coming out of the rib, telling you how tender that's going to be. So it's going to be a good rib. So we're going to take our glaze. We want to add more flavor back into the ribs. We want to make this nice and wet. Huh? Make make her nice and juicy. Oh lord. Add this back into the smoker. Let this glaze stick, and we'll come right back, and we'll taste these babies up. All right, our ribs are fully done. All right, and we have the glaze on there. We're going to give them a good cut. First things first, cut glove. Safety is no accident. <laughs> All right, cut glove on. It's a, a complete six hour smoke. All right, here's our ribs right there. Nice and glistening. We're gonna get a plate and get this all together. Here are the ribs. We got a nice smoke ring on them. It's a total of six hour smoke. And now we're gonna sit there and enjoy. All right, here's our final product, the uh, barbecue ribs. All right, now we're gonna take a bite. Yeah, buddy! That went so good, make me want to slap your own mama. Don't it, Willie? Really? Yeah, boy. Hey, mama. What the hell you want, Willie? All right, guys. I appreciate you guys coming out, checking out our video. Till next time, we'll see you again.